atletas más conocidos que ha entrenado están Kenenisa Bekele, Wilson Kinsan, Florence Kiplagat, Abel Kirui, el actual campeón del mundo de, de maratón, Joffrey Kiriui. Ha colaborado con las federaciones de Kenia, eh, de China, de Qatar. Es un trotamundos, pero sobre todo es una, una persona con muchísimas experiencias y con muchísimos conocimientos. Vive ahora mismo a mitad de camino entre Italia y Kenia, donde pasa la mayor parte de su tiempo entrenando a los mejores fondistas del mundo en el, en el famoso Valle del, del Rift. Es también todo un lujo poder contar con él, con Renato Canova. Oh, we, uh, we have to speak. Uh, I prefer to speak in English because I have a very, very good uh, translator. And uh, we speak about uh, the philosophy of uh, marathon training uh, for the top athletes uh, and the something uh, that we changed uh, in the last uh, 15 years. Uh, the first thing. Uh, we speak about the training system and the practical examples. This is uh, the last start at, uh, from my art at the winning World Championships this year, after winning Boston, Geoffrey Kirui, and uh, is not yet in good training because the volume is very, very low. And we hope no, <laughs> that I can improve also this. Uh, The important points to follow are this one. The athletes of international level must produce quality. So, when you run many kilometers in a small range, so never you run very slow, you never are able to run very fast. And we need to have a quality. Quality means high modulation in the type of training. That is exactly the opposite of what we ask to amateur. Because for them it's not possible to produce high quality. So they need to have another type of system. But when we speak about top athletes, the top quality is the key. In order to produce quality, We need to use a big modulation between high intensity and recovery. And uh, uh, the specific quality is the key for running at the best possible level for everybody. If you want to run a fast marathon, what is a specific? Marathon is 42 kilometers. Everything that is shorter than half a marathon is not a specific. Everything that is slower than 10% of the marathon pace is not a specific. So running very long and very slow is not a specific, but is general. But something? Ah, okay. When uh, Antonio, before, spoke about the periodization with uh, two big uh, uh, etapas, stages. One uh, is uh, the general, and the second is the specific. We are a little bit more precise, and, uh, but the, the, is the system is the same. Transition is uh, what we have to do after a marathon. So, we need to do something for recovering. Recovering is not only to wait and to rest, but uh, every time we run a marathon, we go to lose uh, something uh, on the side of strength, muscle strength. So during the transition period, the first idea is uh, to start to rebuild the strength. We use a circuit, we use a gym in this period, about uh, four weeks. General period, other four weeks. 
So together are the eight weeks uh, that uh, Antonio spoke about. The same thing. Eh? After this, we have the fundamental period that is the base for everything, and the, finally, the specific period that is, of course, the most important. Transition period lasts uh, four weeks after the marathon. What do we do in this period? Easy run, no, no longer than one hour, recovery for muscle strength, reactivity, exercise for running technique. The general period lasting again four weeks, general resistance, it means that we start to run longer, no? training strength, endurance, and, and ability to recruit faster fibers. What is this one? This one is because we start to put short sprints uphill, 10, 12 seconds, at maximal speed. Don't look at short sprints like something useless because you run a marathon. The, the final goal for this is a physiological goal. We need to be able to have the connection between brain and the fast fibers. When we don't use never fast fibers, we lose the possibility to work with the fast fibers. And what happened about the energy, about the fuel? We have about 3-5% of fuel that is inside the fast fibers. But if we don't have the key of the store for opening the door, we never can use this type of fuel. So this type of training uh, at the end can produce the possibility to last and to have yet fuel in the last three, four, five kilometers. Nothing to do with the full speed. Has a physiological reason. General period, we have a long run at even pace, 80% of marathon pace. No, long run with variation, fartlek. Long continuous run, also uphill. We use uh, normally 10, 12 kilometers, maybe 3, 4% of gradient. In Kenya, we have uh, one course of 27 kilometers, uh, where we have uh, 2,000 meters uh, of uh, different uh, in altitude. And uh, sometimes we use two times. It's uh, more psychological than uh, the, the, the real, the real uh, uh, way of working. Because at the end, for uh, Wilson Kipson, for uh, uh, Eliud uh, Kipchoge, for the best in the world, the final average is about 415, 420 per kilometer. So, okay, fatigue mentally. When you finish, you, you tell to yourself, I am very hard to do this. But really, under the physiological point of view, not so much interesting, no? And uh, low continuous run in progression over speed. The example was the 30 kilometers of Javier Guerra, no? 15 kilometers plus the last 15 at a 3 or 3 or something like this. Long run at even pace, we have two sessions per week that are easy. One hour, 32 hours in this period. Two sessions are at 80%, no? And are a little bit shorter. One session, no, is at faster and five sessions per week of regeneration. You can see how many sessions, because we start with the idea that these top athletes always have, practically in this period, two sessions per day. So normally we work with 13 sessions per week with this type of athletes, because there is not yet something of very high intensity, needing uh, only one session in one day for recovering. Uh, here there are uh, the execution. I, I don't need to explain. You can see what, uh, what are uh, the, the, the uh, practically uh, the possibility that we have many things. This uh, is uh, practically the normal fartlek that we use. This, where is it? I think. Oh, this one. Ah, now, oh, la, 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 la. Come back.
Uh, so the last uh, type of fast, like uh, 20 times one minute fast and uh, alternating with one minute uh, more slow, is a fart like for a marathon, which is the difference between the fart like for maybe 5,000 meters, 10,000, also short distance, and the fart like for a marathon. In the fart like for a marathon, we don't jog after the test, but we run. We run at a good speed. For giving an idea, in this uh, final uh, uh, type of training, that is uh, one hour, we have uh, normally the athlete running 19, 19.2, 19.3 kilometers at 2,300 meters of altitude. So it's possible to do this only if you run fast the recovery. And uh, to run fast the recovery is the key because we changed the system of training for many years ago. Why? Because many years ago, uh, the idea that we had about every lactic workout uh, looking at the marathon was that was a mistake. And we tried every time to avoid the every lactic situation for this. Also with Italian, winning Olympic, like Gelindo Bordin. We started to change something with Baldini, practically, no? in the last period, because of the experience that we had with Kenyans. And we had experience because they were very strong. So with this type of athletes, we could try something different. So what is different? Different is that Kenyans use almost in every training big variation of uh, speed. And uh, we saw that uh, something uh, could happen uh, in the body of these athletes. What happened? You see, in some competition, five kilometers in 14.10, 14.05, not the last, but for example, between 25 and 30. And after they are able to recover again. So was uh, something strange for us uh, coaches uh, and uh, we started to put this uh, in a more, uh, more uh, scientific plan in training. And after, we discovered that uh, with the variation, something happens uh, inside the body. What happens uh, is uh, the permeability of the cell membrane become, uh, is become better. So practically, we, with uh, this type of training, we can uh, make faster the possibility to eliminate lactate that we produce. So if we eliminate in short time, we can go in this direction. Because you know that following the physiology, about 20% of lactate can be energy. So now we use the lactic situation, that is aerobic power already over the, the, the umbral, over the threshold, no? Like something giving more, uh, more endurance and more possibility to run faster for the athletes. This is possible because you can produce now more lactate because using variation, you can eliminate more lactate in short time. So this is the real reason. And we use with all the Kenyans a lot of this. And not only with the Kenyans, because I have now two or three Europeans, and uh, running one guy was Arne Gabius, another guy is uh, now Sondre Muren, that is uh, from Norway, and uh, using this, uh, they improve very much no, under this point of view. So this is something that uh, uh, has a, a physiological effect, uh, and uh, the physiological effect is uh, for everybody at uh, his level, of course. Uh, long run, uh, nothing new to, to see. No, maybe the other, this one. Okay, uh, long continuous run uphill, uh, you can see, it's not uh, a big problem. What uh, become interesting uh, instead uh, is uh, what we do with uh, the modified circuits. Modified circuits uh, is uh, the idea to create and to enhance uh, the strength endurance. 
not the strength. We don't, know, don't need a high strength for a marathon runner. We need a strength endurance. We need to be able to last for two hours at a percentage of the maximal strength very high. And for doing this, we use circuits. We can have a lot of different type of circuits. Depend if we use hills, but it also is possible to use a track. For example, here, you don't have hills, you can use a track. And we can see, for example, an example of modified circuit on the track. We run 400 meters at marathon pace, and without stopping immediately after this, we have one session of exercise, 30 seconds. Maybe skipping, bounding, hills to buttocks, that is this one, no? And jumping on the place, like a squat jump, something like this, with broken knees, only feet, only feet. So we do, in this situation, we run one, one set is 2,400 meters running, plus all these exercises. And we have five, six minutes of interval, of rest, because it's, it's demanding, eh, this one. And we go from, uh, at the beginning, three, four times. At the end of the period, we arrive till seven times for this. And seven times are already 2,400 meters, so are already 16.8 kilometers on track plus exercises. This is one situation. Another thing that personally I use in E10, because in E10 is possible, because we have a track that is in the top of a hill. If there is not this, it's not possible, no? I use, for example, three times 800 meters or 600 or 1K, about the marathon pace with one minute recovery. After, they go down and they go sprinting six times 60 meters, maximum speed. And they repeat this for five times, for example. So mixing the maximum sprint with something that is about aerobic power, we increase the ability of the strength endurance. That is the base of the endurance for every type of distance. Because the problem is that we start to, to, to lose no, reactivity and strength with the distance when we become tired. Um, we have a circuit on hilly course, maybe, possible. No, and this is the number of uh, repetition. And the goal is to increase the ability to recruit a high percentage of fast fibers when already we are not fresh, when we have already in our muscles a, a lactate, a high level of lactate in the, in the muscle fibers. We go in the next period, fundamental, lasting six weeks, practically, no? And these are all the different speed that we use with a different uh, uh, goal, of course. Nothing new. Everybody uses the same situation here. No? Long run, uh, about 80% uh, of marathon pace. In this period, this type of long run is duration. You need to think that when we speak about marathon, we have two different uh, parts of preparation. We need to prepare the body structure. Because, uh, for example, if an athlete uh, comes from something short and uh, runs not very, very fast, maybe an athlete for 14 minutes in 5,000, per example, um, it's not a big problem for him running uh, at uh, a full marathon at uh, 3.15. No, like also without big preparation, which is, in many cases, the limiting factor, the body. Because you start after one hour 30 to have a problem in the knee, the tendon, something like this, because there is not volume. So you are not trained to stay long time on your legs. So for this type of preparation, we use duration. Duration is something that you run not at a high level for preparing the structure and also the mind of your body. No. And, uh, uh, this uh, doesn't have any direct influence on the performance. 
but is something for preparing your body for something more specific. And what is more specific? Uh, this is uh, another, another type of training. But is this one, long continuous run at even pace, no, run fast, 87, 93%, starting from there, and the idea is to arrive to have more distance. So we call duration something connected with time. Distance something connected with the goal of speed for our marathon. If I want that an athlete can run a marathon at 310, for example, I put from this period something at 310, five kilometers in 1550, and I don't need to run faster. I need every time to run longer. So the, the physiology, the, the philosophy is to extend the intensity, not to qualify the volume. Understand? So this is what we do. Uh, I want to tell you the different mentality that we have now in Europe comparing with the African. I am a crazy uh, coach, and uh, I have two athletes. One is African, one is uh, European or American. And uh, I tell them, you are training tomorrow, is uh, running uh, 20 kilometers in one hour, at uh, three minutes per kilometer. And uh, both of them are not able to do. So the Europeans start to think, I am not able to run one hour 20 kilometers. So what I have to do? Bah, maybe that I am able to run at 320. And he started running 320 at the end are 18 kilometers. Because for him it's very much important to finish one hour. For the African, instead, the idea is I start to run at three. When I finish the fuel, I stop. So for the African, the the Everything starts from the intensity. And practically, like a methodology, we need to extend the intensity. Instead, for European, normally, American, no. The idea is general volume, a lot of easy, something, become very difficult when this is the normal level of training to put a real intensity in this. To qualify the volume is very much more difficult if you want to, to reach your top, eh? not if you want to finish a marathon the first time. It's very much more difficult than to extend the intensity. Because when you normally frequent the intensity, for you to a, a, a period of one hour, one hour 20, one hour 30, at high level of heart rate, for example, become normal. And you understand that if your normal base in any moment of the season is 85, 90% of your maximal intensity, it's not so difficult to move from 85 to 100. But if you are at 60% every time, to 60 to 100 is very difficult. And after two marathons, you are no more able to improve. Because what is the training? Training is the proposal to your body. And no, it's not the proposal. It's the answer to the proposal. This is training. So training is to give to the body some stimulus. The answer of your body to the stimulus is training. This is. So when there is no stimulus, there is no training. So I ask you one thing. If you are an athlete already able to run a full marathon at three minutes per kilometer, like for example in the past uh, Ray or Rios, these people, eh? three minutes, do you, which type of reason there is for running maybe 10 or 15 kilometers at four? Tell me. Which type of stimulus there is? It's very much better that he can go with a bike or can sleep all the day. Because this type of training 
is uh, no training, is uh, only no effect on the body, but effect for making more kilometers and to use, to, to increase the consumption of the body. It's like to use a Formula One for 20,000 kilometers at 100 kilometers of speed, which is the reason. What do you do with this? Nothing. So, many years ago, we had athletes running top athletes about 300 kilometers per week. In Italy, Gerindo Bordin ran sometime at 320. In Japan, Toshiko Seiko ran 480 kilometers in one week. And they had two times in the preparation one, one training of 100 kilometers calling mentalization. The only result was that no Japanese athletes were able to last more than two years because this volume destroyed completely the body. Okay? Now, the top athletes run maximum 200 kilometers and are between 170 and 180, which is the key for improving your personal best in the career, any level, any level, also for an amateur, is to increase the volume of the intensity. So not the volume and not the intensity, but the volume of intensity. So when you are young and you start to prepare your body, you have maybe 80% of training that is general before arriving in 20% of specific. When you have five, eight, 10 years of career, you need to have 50% of specific. And the support is only more 50% of general, and you cut the general because it's useless or damages. Understand? So this is important. Also, another important thing, the only mistake that we have in training is not what we do, is what we don't do. So when an athlete comes to me, okay, in Kenya, but not only in Kenya, put the case of this uh, guy from Norway. He come to me with uh, 2, uh, 12 in marathon, 28, uh, 25 in 10K, uh, 13, 33 in uh, 5,000 meters. And the last three years, uh, not able to, to improve, okay? So, are not bad this time. So I asked him to know what he did in training. And uh, I didn't change anything what he did. But I put in training what he didn't do. So I discovered that he didn't use shorter sprint. He didn't use variation. He didn't use very long run or so easy. A lot of things that he didn't use. So maintaining what he was able to do and adding what he didn't use was not possible to have a microcycle because for putting everything together, we have a microcycle of about 20 days. Because when you go to top level, five seconds of difference in the pace for marathon is another type of training. The influence in the body is different. So we normally speak about easy run, uh, maybe 340 per kilometer. After this, something that is in the middle, 315 something. After we go for 400 meters very fast on track. No, this is to create a plan with big stairs that are not connected one with another. We need to have many small stairs and we need to use all these stairs in speed for having connection. So a, a faster speed can be the base of speed for something longer and the longer speed, the longer uh, at good intensity is uh, the possibility to improve practically your endurance, specific endurance. Otherwise we are in something general. And uh, the real problem that uh, we have when we speak about what is this one again? When we speak about the marathon, is that, uh, this one after we see, is 
that uh, normally, also with uh, European, also with uh, American, the athletes go to compete not at the end of the specific period, but they go to compete at the end of the fundamental period, thinking that they are ready. No, they, at the end of this period, are ready for starting the specific period, because there is not the right intensity in the right extension, if you want to do your best. So, practically, this was the big difference that we had. And, for example, always speaking about the variation, we now, we use distance for a volume of 30, 32 kilometers, replacing the normal long run. With Gelindo Bordin, for example, we started to use four times five kilometers at a marathon pace, or a little bit faster, with one kilometer recovery, maybe about 320. No? Totally, we are 23 kilometers. And never we went longer than 23. The last training before winning uh, Seoul Olympic was three times seven kilometers, about 21 minutes, 2058, 2103, depend on the, the road, no? with a one kilometer recovery, maximum 23. So it was a specific type of training. Now, we arrived till 32 kilometers with this system. And the 32 go to replace, in the specific period, the normal long run, with a different quality. Maybe that the average is the same like before. But, for example, when we go for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 kilometers, a little bit faster than marathon pace, and in the middle, we use one kilometer in 330, for example, for top athletes. The average is the same, but we have, in 32 kilometers, 27 kilometers of a specific speed, something that is completely different from the past. So, these are the... Uh, something like this. Other thing is uh, on track. Okay, we use a distance between one and four kilometers, something, but uh, the total uh, volume when we are in the specific period is about 20 kilometers. So, one classic workout that we do is two times three, 3,000. Uh, for example, for, I give you a situation like Wilson Kipsang or something like this. No, before the world record. Three times, two times 3,000, 842, 845. Three times 2K, 542, 545. Five times 1K, 245, 248. Six times 500 meters, 120, the last 117. No, recovery between three and two, three minutes. No jogging, three minutes. Stopping, nothing, walking, no waiting, no. And for every 1K, one minute 30, and between every 500, one minute. Are 20 kilometers on track. This is what happened in the last period of the preparation. And when we speak about the long run, 40 days between, uh, before running the world record in Berlin, 203.23, we had a test only one time we used. 40 kilometers at starting 2000, arriving 2200 almost, and after coming back. Okay? And normally, in this test, the athletes run the same time of the marathon at the sea level, not the same pace, same time. So, uh, you need to think that uh, um, we consider a difference of six seconds for these people between uh, this uh, training in altitude at the sea level. Three seconds for the difference uh, of altitude. Because for these people, it's not more than three seconds. Eh? For Kenyans or for Ethiopians. They live there, they have adaptation. Three seconds are for the different of grip, because they need to run with training shoes, heavy, and rough road, dirty roads, and there is not the same grip. If you, if you run also, also here, no, and you have, for example, a pace of 320 per kilometer on tarmac, on asphalt, 
And after you have at the same pace one kilometer in a dirty road, no? Strada Bianca, Strada Blanca, no? The 320 becomes 323, 324 because of the difference of grip. No. So this is what I consider. So two hours, 332 in 40 kilometers is about one hour 59 or 30 for 40K at sea level on asphalt. It means a marathon in 206. Marathon in 206 was practically the last long run fast 40 days before the world record. And with many others, we have the possibility to see that they repeat no, in the marathon the same time that they are able to do in this course, practically. No. So what changed with many years ago is the intensity of long run, because it's no more progressive, but it's long run from the beginning. These people, if they want to run fast, they start at 252, 255 per kilometer. You need to be ready, not to run easy the first part and after to go fast at the end. Also in training, we need to do this. Don't think that is what we use every time. No. We need to prepare this possibility because the real problem in endurance, but in every type of athletic, is not really what is specific, because everybody knows what is specific, but is how is possible to increase the possibility, the volume of a specific. Example, if I have an athlete running 400 meters in 46, and in training is able to run three times 300 meters in 34.5 with a six minutes recovery. Everybody understand that if 34.5 become 33.5 with the same recovery, the 46 become 45. Everybody understand that. You not to be a genius, no? The problem is what I have to do for arriving there. This is the problem. So, to understand what we have to do during the general, the fundamental period for preparing the possibility to have more specific volume or in case of short distance, sometimes also more specific speed. So, this is the real problem that we face. In marathon, is the only event where we, are, we have an opposite problem. Cioè, we need to understand what is specific. Because marathon is 42 kilometers, normally we don't go for some distance longer than this. Also, if we use sometimes 45 kilometers general, two times, for example, before. But normally is not a part of training. Different from all the other events. If we speak about the five or 10 kilometers, in a normal training, you go for something longer. Also on track, you go for 12, for 15 kilometers, you go for something long. Marathon is the only event where we never go for something longer. So never we go really for something specific, fearing that if we go there, we need to have maybe two months for recovering. Nothing more wrong. When a marathon is very fast, it's possible to recover in very short time. Because the problem is, why I can run a marathon so fast? Because the conditions of the weather are very good. Otherwise, it's not possible. So, in Osaka, World Championship in 2007, the winner ran 216, was my athlete. The second was also my athlete, 217, 21. That is ridiculous, because they run 10 minutes slower than their personal best. Two months later, they were not yet able to go in training because there were 35 degrees, 98% of humidity, the body were, was destroyed. When you go instead in Dubai and you run with 12 degrees, completely flat, good pace, 204, 205, no? the recovery is very easy. The problem is not the recovery of the body. The problem is the mental recovery, because, uh, and uh, Antonio was a marathon runner, so he knows. Uh, 
you need preparing a marathon, a lot of concentration. And when you arrive at the marathon, this is in any case the final point. If you are okay, after you are empty, like nervous energy, and you relax. If you are not okay, and you want to try, hey, I have a lot of training, so uh, I, I, I had to stop after 21 kilometers for some reason. We go to look for, a, for, I don't want to waste all this training, we go to look for another marathon after two weeks. Never this marathon can be okay. Never. Because the problem is not the energy in the, in the body, but all the mental energy. Example, Moses Mosop ran the first marathon in 20306 in Boston, okay? And after this, immediately after this, we planned to attack the world record on track of 25 and 30 kilometers. Was exactly 40 days later. And many told me, hey, how is possible with a marathon in 203? After one week, he was in training because the mind was there. And after 30 days, he went for one of the best sessions of his life on track, 18 times 1K with 1 minute 20 recovery, the first 245, 16 in 242, the last 236. And after this, destroyed the world record. No. So the problem is here. If you uh, go for a marathon, for example, that is a, a, in your plan, is the preparation of the final marathon, and you put this marathon four weeks before, something like this, eh? you can run two minutes or three minutes only, slower than uh, the final goal, and you, after four days, you are in full training. Because in your mind was a passage, no, was a part of training, not the final goal. So we need to, uh, to, to, to think that uh, the psychological approach no, is uh, one of the most important things in every type of athletic, but especially when we ask full concentration in a long fatigue because this is important. For example, for Kenyans, I needed to, uh, to learn to write the same workout in different way. I explain. If I write five times five kilometers in 15 minutes, for example, with one kilometer recovery at 3.30, you know what they do? They run 15, and after the kilometer become five minutes jogging. Because for them, recovery is recovery. They don't look at 3.30 or something like this. So I started to write in different way. I started to write 30 kilometers of continuous run, alternating five kilometers in 15 and one kilometer in 3.30. They start in their mind before training to think this is a continuous run and they are able to do. So uh, the preparation, the mental preparation is very much important when we speak about uh, something of a high personal level in this way. No? And uh, we need to, to take uh, care about this. Okay? Um, we have... Uh, oh, but, Progression, these are all uh, situation track, or something like this is uh, uh, fundamental period, uh, um, something that we go also uphill, medium, uh, no, but these, uh, the ingredients uh, are the same. So uh, it's not uh, that uh, we need to, to have something strange. Uh, the problem is uh, how to cook the ingredient, but the ingredients are always the same. It's not uh, something like this, okay? Uh, this is an example of a modified circuits, but uphill, okay? So, for example, we have a gradient uh, for 7%, and we go for 200 meters running fast after skipping, after 300 meters running uphill, no, always at good intensity, after bounding, after again running uphill, after uh, something longer, after again uh, another exercise, and after we finish, when uh, we have something, uh, for example, like uh, 1,500 meters, we have 
going up, and uh, we do this. And this is uh, in this period, fundamental period. Now, we try to see what, uh, this is what I told you before, for example, we go in the specific period, that is the real, uh, the real thing that is important. Specific period, uh, Antonio spoke about uh, two months, uh, nine weeks or something, here is about nine, ten weeks. So everybody has um, the, the duration, the specific period is practically the same. No? So we need to train these qualities. Uh, one thing that is important, attention, which is the difference of training philosophy between the uh, fundamental period and the specific period? During the fundamental period, we work for improving the qualities that we need to use one by one. So we look for strength, we work for strength. We look for general endurance, we look for long run. We don't, are not interested to put together this. We are buying the material for building the house. Specific period, I need to use the material that I already have for building the performance. So, in the first period, we speak about internal load. What is internal load? Internal load is the level of effort that you use when there is a training. So, in this case, I give you an example. I ask to an athlete to run 10 times 3,000 meters, 1,000 meters in three minutes, okay? With two minutes recovery. We are in winter, very, very cold. That is not the situation of Valencia, practically. Maybe windy, maybe some other problem. The athlete start with the level of effort that is right level. He, he ran the first in three minutes, the second 305, the third 315, the number four 320, and after quit telling, ah, it's not the day. No, this is wrong. If your level of effort is the same that you use running in three minutes when everything is perfect, you need to finish the training because the internal load is the same. When we go in the specific uh, period, there is no more internal load, there is external load. So training becomes mathematic. If I have the goal for running 10 kilometers in 28 to 20, that is 250 per kilometers, and I put like a specific training, for example, 12 times 250, or 10 times to 48, or something like this, no? And I go, because the conditions are not good, I go at a three or three or five, because there is some situation that is out of my control, I need to stop, because this training become useless. I need to have good condition, because there is the study of the pace. I need to understand exactly what I do. I need to prepare in mathematic way exactly the performance. So I don't want to see people that when you ask what you can do, but I run more kilometers, I had something good, we see how is the race. Doesn't exist this. I am against the idea that marathon is something strange and after 30 kilometers there is the wall. It's something strange when there is not good training. But when you prepare exactly what you are able to do, you know, and only if you do some mistake become a problem for you. But if you don't do any mistake, no, you know very well what happened till the end. Nothing strange is not different from other events because you need to know exactly, which is the pace that you can maintain for 42 kilometers, arriving after 42, without a fuel, not after 35, and not after 32 with a lot of fuel, because there is some mistake. So you need to know this exactly like the car of Formula One, where there is the study before, and you put fuel enough for running at a 
speed that you know. So we know already for this. And uh, which is uh, the physiological point for changing this? Is uh, to change the way of fueling. We have a table, okay, where we have one tank that is super glycogen. It's not very big, this tank. We have on the other part of the table another tank bigger, where there are the fatty acids. In the middle, we have a tank empty that we need to fill, taking from here and from here. So at the beginning, which is the, 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 the way for increasing the uh, duration at uh, the same speed. When we prepare a speed, maybe 305, maybe 303, maybe, maybe the best speed for the others, uh, where step by step for this speed, we use less glycogen, less super, and more fatty acid, more diesel. Okay? So, because this is small, we can last every time more. How is possible to do this? Example, the glycogen, normally, we finish glycogen in one hour, if we remain about the umbral, the threshold, okay? No. So, of course, we need to run a little bit slower than this, if we want to last more. And, uh, for example, uh, I want uh, to prepare an athlete for running a full marathon at uh, three or six per kilometer, and uh, I ask him to go for 30 kilometers, maybe two months before the marathon, at uh, three or six. So he arrived till 1.33 for 30K, perfect, and after I ask him to arrive till 33 kilometers, yet a three, and uh, the 31 become 3.20. The 32 become 335, and the 33 become four minutes. The real training are the last 3K. The first 30 are for emptying the tank. So at the end of this, when the body is no more able to find the fuel, you go to see in some part of your body where there is yet some fuel. Next time, you know where you need to go, and automatically you start to use less super for the same type of speed. And we can have the control of this, for example, with the historical system of six times 2,000 meters increase in pace, you know, with lactate or something like this. Here there was a different system in, in Spain, you know, with, uh, when there was Xavier Liviarte, you know, doctor in Vitoria University, but it was the same thing. So we were able to control that at the same speed, during the right preparation for the marathon, the athlete started every time to use less glycogen and more fatty acid. And this means that it was able to fill this type of, uh, uh, of uh, speed for all the marathon. So we need to be able to prepare exactly the time that we want. For Kenya, this is more difficult because of the courses. No? But with the top athletes, we know exactly. If tomorrow in, in Berlin, they want to go for 61, about, no, the, the half marathon, 61 is not that somebody the second half go for 70, or they finish. 61 may be that the second part, maximum, they finish in 62, 61, 40. The problem is that with the top three, there are other 10 athletes that don't have any idea, but go together. So you start to see somebody that exploding after 25, another after 28, two that are not able to finish, because are very aggressive, are very strong, but really don't have an individual plan. And this is another important idea about the training. Doesn't exist the training for one event. Exist the principle of trainings for one event. But the real training is for the person. So I don't train 
is not the athlete following at the top level. Eh? It's not the athlete following the, the, the schedule, the training schedule, but it's the training plan following the athlete. It's different. So, eh, the principle of individualization of training is the winning principle when we speak about the top athletes. I understand that with amateur or something like this, it's not possible because it's more important to have a group. It's more important individually. There are too many differences, for example, working, the time of the day, the possibility that there are, the family. So when it's possible to have something together is the best solution. Maybe that uh, uh, you have uh, uh, six people running together, somebody stop at 20, somebody can be 25, or somebody 30, the same pace. This is what I use also in Kenya. So uh, for putting together people, I use the same speed with different distances, depending on when they have the marathon and depending on when they have the value. But I can't use the same type of training changing the speed. Because if I prepare somebody for 203 and somebody for 207 and somebody for 210, they can't run together the same distance. It's not possible. No, there is some mistake. So maybe that with the top, we run 40K. With the other for 207, it can go till 30. And with the other, can go till 20. The guy going till 20, maybe after two weeks, has 40 at his pace. But in this case, we can, moving the groups, we can have the possibility to follow the group with the same type of speed, with the same, also on the track. On the track, you are not able to run 2,000 meters in 540. You run 1,600 meters, one, one lap less, and after you have one minute 10 recovery more, and you have another type of workout for you. And after this, for you, there is another day the full workout with more volume. So we need to, when we have a group, we need to be able to, to play a little bit with the situation. But when we are in the specific period, the most important thing is to have together people for speed, not for distance. Uh, the long continuous run at even pace is uh, fast. Maybe uh, 90 percent, but uh, maybe also more sometime. Okay, is uh, when we go till uh, 25, uh, something like this, uh, we can have uh, this one, maybe one time every two weeks or something, because it's very much demanding, near the pace of the race. Okay, so uh, you can see also. The situation, I don't know if, uh, eh, this is an example, no? Seven, six, five, four, three, two kilometers increasing speed. Seven is 98% of marathon pace. And after two is 103%, so faster than marathon pace. Alternative with one kilometer at 80%, which is 80%. If you are an athlete for running at three minutes, no? 10% is 18 seconds, and 336 is 80%. So this is the idea. And at the end, you run 32 kilometers. So with this, we go to replace the normal long run even pace, okay? So these are the situation that we changed. Again, this is what we did, we did at the beginning. You need to remember, this is the way for producing quality. And after one session like before, no, no, what is this one? One session like this, eh? we need to have easy, easy training and regeneration for four or five days. This is what we do. So when we increase the modulation for top athletes, eh, forget the idea that we need to have three sessions per week with one day recovery in the middle. It is not possible that in a plan, in a real plan of high quality, the only thing that doesn't change is the recovery time. Because when we go for something more demanding in extension, of course, we need to open the recovery. 
So this is the way. More, more quality in extension, more recovery. Otherwise, we go to kill somebody. Instead, with the right balance between intensity, volume of intensity, and recovery, no, we can grow, and uh, with the, the system, the new system, we can run two, three minutes faster than many years ago. This is what we do now with the, the top athletes. I think that is finished now, this one. Yes. Okay? Yes, finished.